Welcome back to Let's Duel, Might of Magic Duel of Champions. We're playing against uh, Soutin Gorge here. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and keep this uh, starting hand. It's a rare occasion that we're actually able to play a, a, a one resource card in the first turn. Forced to uh, discard. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Not a uh, big loss here. Oh. Guess it can affect spells as well. Oh, any kind of. Loss of weakness kind of, uh, kind of sucks there. But uh, I think we'll have no issue uh, getting through this. Get the Black Vulture out. Do one damage to him. Okay, uh, with our options here, definitely going to go with uh, increase to magic, and we're just going to uh, uh, ice spikes, use the vulture, and we'll do another one damage to him. Okay, Void Keeper, a little bit of an issue here. Um, however, let me think about how we can do this. If only we had one more mana. going to go ahead, attack with the Vulture. We'll take the one retaliation damage, and he'll kill it next turn. I could go crazy, play uh, Icy Weapon. You know what? I think I might just do that, try something a little bit different here. I'm going to put Icy Weapon on the Skeleton. Do four damage to him, and uh, we'll ha force some plays out of him. Darkwood uh, Trienti is a uh, good stopper for him here. Um, out of a lack of options, we're just going to go ahead and uh, we'll wither. Uh, just draw a card here. If you trust to uh, Hailstorm and Heat Wave or something like that, uh, probably work it against them and we'll Hailstorm the next turn. Okay, so the uh, Urkargan Enforcer entering the field uh, could be a, a, f a fair challenge for us. What I'm going to do is increase our might here. Uh, 
And uh, I think we'll just go ahead. We'll play the Untamed Wraith. It's going to die. But we'll uh, back it up with uh, Agony. So at least we'll start doing uh, some damage to the Enforcer. Take out the, the Trent. Nothing we can early grave. about all we can do this turn. Uh, forcing the return uh, with, uh, with the Untamed Wraith is a little bit interesting. That's a real pain. We'll see what he chooses to clear out here. Probably not the one to uh to go with. Uh, we'll use extra draw here. Don't like that result. Uh, we'll get the uh, moon silk spider on the field. It's a magic shooter, so we don't really need to worry about anything. Send the turn. Once again, being really set back by it. This is terrible card draw. I feel sometimes it goes really well for us, and others just uh, nightmarishly bad. Skeleton Archer buys us some time. Really, that all that could be uh, said about that. Uh, go ahead and celebrate. Uh, Nimtaro Channeler helps us out a little bit because it prevents that sweep attack, and that's important. We'll get the Nimtaro Channeler out, and uh, we'll slow the uh, Use Karg Enforcer, and with a fairly limited options here, I'm just going to increase our destiny, and we'll work work towards the uh, Stone of Enlightenment. So I actually kind of hope he plays that. It does kill off our our moon silk spider. But I wasn't looking forward to uh, such a complement of uh, powerful spells. We'll see what we draw here. Um, we have ice spikes, which uh, helps us out a bit. Let's 
increase our might here. Ice spikes. Wheel hailstorm. Play uh, no rest for the wicked and just pull back our untamed ray. And end the turn. I'm not sure how that uh, enforcer actually made his way back. I'm a little bit uh, confused on that. So a lot more options this turn. Death Seal is uh, pretty big here, so we're just going to straight up Death Seal. Archlich. Gonna Archlich that row. Gonna Untamed Wraith that row. We're gonna eat some damage with our hero, but Hailstorm came up, came up like I wanted. I, if we had blocked that row, we would have been really susceptible to Area Blast. Now, if he doesn't isn't sitting on uh, some good creatures. It's a little bit of a gambit, because we're going to take uh, 5 damage to our hero. But we may be able to claw back board control here. Our Hailstorm will be big for us. But we know he's playing with a fairly lean and mean deck at uh, 34 cards remaining. So he's going to get to draw a lot of what he wants. But on the other side of the coin, we, we have an answer to uh, to all his uh, his lower end cards. Okay, so this is definitely what I was looking for. A good front row card to soak up that area blast. But, uh, to start things off here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, go with that hailstorm. We're going to put the uh, Plague Bear out on the field. And uh, we'll just draw a card with her final action here and end the turn. So an attack with his Lacerator will cause uh, Area Blast to hurt it. I uh, will have the option to Hailstorm again, which should uh, s uh, secure its own destruction if he attacks th the Plague Bearer. That's a pretty big uh, boost right there. That'll allow his elemental to kill the uh, untamed wraith.
Okay, so that worked out quite well for him. However, we do have a good number of uh, cards in our hand here. We got our Stone of Enlightenment. Be a good ton to play that. Okay. Get the uh, hangman tree out. We'll uh, the arch list behind. And uh, I kind of want to keep the skeleton archer alive, so I'm just going to play that. We'll uh, do two damage to him. Of course, the hangman tree doesn't do us too much good. I probably should have just left it uh, left it there to soak up hits and put the arch list lich in a different row. Because he's still going to be able to uh, attack attack the lich with uh, the elemental. I suppose it's a trade-off, right? I'd really like to start burning him down, though. Actually, it's kind of surprising we haven't used either the hero ability or mass grave uh, thus far. Okay, so that works out pretty good for him. Of course, uh, the life drain will prove to be a little bit of a, a, a setback. Okay, you know what, I'm going to play uh, Celebrations here. And uh, we'll see what we can make happen. Uh, moon silk, silk uh, strands. I'll just slow them down at a lot. We'll get the uh, plague zombie out. Uh, we'll just draw a card here, and we got another uh, plague zombie. So we'll go ahead and put that in the uh, lower row. Uh, end the turn. Once again, forgot about the sweep attack. It's paid the price for that. And he's going to be hoping for a hailstorm. That was really sloppy, pl playing the uh, Plague Zombie is such a, a ripe target for... Uh, for uh, the sweep attack. Mm. 
that could have uh, cost us a game right there. Hellfire Slave. Okay, so we got ourselves a little bit of a game changer here. Three damage to every creature in that row. Two damage to adjacent lines. So we'll lose our plague zombie or er, plague uh, plague zombies. But uh, I think we bought ourselves a lot more time here. The arch lich out. Get the hermit out. And then the turn. Bad on me to uh, sit on that uh, no rest, rest for the wicked. I should have uh, played that. Okay, so this works out uh, really well for us because uh, we have Week of Dancing Flames come up. Let me use uh, the hero cards, see what else we got. Just a uh, puny skeleton archer. Whatever. So yeah, well, uh, we can Dancing Flames. That lets us kill the Hellfire Slave. Let's us do a lot of damage to the... Uh, to the, um... The Demon Thrall. And we'll take back the Lesser Water Elemental. This is gonna mark the uh, end of a life for our Skeleton Archer. And he's going to get a lot of damage done with it. But the uh, real question is, will it be enough? Maybe with a fireball like that. See what else he's got cooking? Another Ukargi forces enforcer. Looks like he's got a, a very deliberately crafted deck here. Quite happy getting uh, the, the old hangman tree. Get a good bit of damage done. Put 
Or plague uh, skeleton onto the field. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and make our arch lich uh, and put our cane ward on it. As long as we keep that arch lich alive, things should be pretty good for us. Okay, you're gonna have to do uh, better than a Hellfire Blow. That's a good bit better. We're burning down his uh, deck pretty quickly. See what I got here. Okay, so we can make a lot of good things happen for us here. It's just important we play this in the the uh, the right way. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and move the tree up. We're going to Hailstorm. That deals with that problem. We're going to Icy Weapon. That deals with that problem. We're going to Ice Shell. That'll deal with that problem. We are going to... Just uh, discard. Gold Pile. Take out the Bloat. Gonna celebrate. Uh, play the Lama two. Lama turn. So we lost our arch lich. That's a good, big setback. But. Uh, Hopefully starting to reach now for uh, for uh, cards. At uh, 16 cards remaining. I'm really wondering uh, what else he'll have to uh, throw at us. Move the Lamasu down, Hangman Tree. Okay, uh, we'll just um, Mass Grave. Deal with that. Draw that back. We got a lot of mana, so you know it helps him out a bit, but we're going to uh, celebrate. And uh, end the turn.
Okay, uh, so we do have an answer for both uh, those two mana creatures. Okay, well... Given our situation, we'll go ahead and... We gotta discard. Actually, hold on, what do we got here? We got a lot we can do. So we're definitely going to uh, Mass Grave. And we'll just get rid of early grave. Thank you for sort of that. Now what do we actually have? It has some damage potential here. Unfortunately not a lot. Play, uh, should keep us kicking for another turn. be able to play our ghost Dra dragon in the next turn with this incorporeal state it should be uh, good for dealing with uh, uh, with the hellfire slave Be in some trouble next turn if uh, we aren't able to uh, get any uh, attacks on these. We've almost run them down out of cards, though. Let's see how we get to uh, try our luck here with Alter Wishes. Okay, Sand Shark doesn't really. Save the day. Okay, so we bought ourselves another turn here.
It's going to be a nail biter here. The uh, Fist of Fury there uh, be a problem, so could be out of this coming up here. Hailstorms would save us. I think we're unlikely to, unlikely to get two though. Oh, well that's fairly significant. We are, however, still going to take some damage. The good news is, is he's out of cards. Oh, man. This is uh, quite the situation. I think we got this.
if I get a creature. I don't want to seem like I'm being uh, too cocky here. And just uh, delaying this. Okay, good. He's uh, he's conceded here. So that was a that was a nail biter down to the very end. Couple uh, misplays uh, on both our our parts really uh, uh, put that in such a, a tenuous situation. Anyhow, so uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me in this next video. It's you know it's a fairly long one here, but uh, I think that was a pretty uh, intense match. Thank you very much.